Welcome back, savvy viewers, to a riveting journey through the world of unimaginable wealth and youthful ambition. Today, we dive deep into the lives of those who have reached a milestone that many only dreams of becoming billionaires at a young age. Hold on to your seats as we unveil the youngest billionaires in the world. Ben Francis' net worth, $1.2 billion. Francis was juggling college classes and delivering pizzas when he founded activewear maker Gymshark in 2012. At age 19, he sewed the first pieces together in his parents' Birmingham, UK garage and guerrilla marketed his way into the workout gear scene, getting weightlifting influencers to pump up his brand. Gymshark did more than $500 million in 2021 sales. Francis sold 21% of the business to private equity firm General Atlantic, in 2020 for $300 million, but still owns 70%. The unicorn's most recent move? A brick-and-mortar store. Gymshark London opened in 2022 and offers workout classes and the brand's trademark apparel. Palmer Lucky net worth, $1.7 billion. The former Teenwise founded VR headset maker Oculus and sold it to Facebook for $2 billion in 2014, then began building weapons. Is defense tech startup Andural, which has systems on the ground in Ukraine and which aims to build drones and surveillance products for the DOT, raised $1.5 billion at an $8.5 billion valuation in December. Mark Machgit's net worth, $34.7 billion. He inherited 49% of energy drink giant Red Bull after his father, the founder Dietrich Machgit's, died in October. Soon after, he resigned from his role as its head of organics to concentrate on his role as a shareholder. Michael Strinad net worth, $2 billion. His Czechoslovak group is one of the biggest suppliers of ammunition, ground equipment, and artillery equipment to the Ukrainian army, which has helped double sales to $620 million in the first half of 2022. He took full control of the business, founded by his father, in 2018. Gustav Magnarwitzo net worth, $2.7 billion. He owns nearly half of the salmon farming company Salmar ASA, inherited from his father Gustav Witzo, but does not have an operating role. Instead, he's casting his line as a real estate and tech startup investor. Ryan Breslow net worth, $1.1 billion. The Stanford dropout founded three startups, four years apart. Bolt, which rocketed him to fame, eco and love, is 2022 venture. They aim to remove middlemen in payments processing, personal finance, and pharmaceuticals, respectively. A fourth, nascent crypto project Movement Deo, was set to launch this year, but instead led to a legal battle against a rogue engineer who allegedly stole two-thirds of its seed funding. The engineer's attorney dismissed the allegations as frivolous. Leonardo Maria Del Vecchio net worth, $3.5 billion. Ira Kingpin Leonardo Del Vecchio was Italy's second richest person when he died in June 2022, leaving 12.5% of his fortune, mostly shares of publicly traded Essilor Luxottica, the world's largest eyewear firm to his widow Nicoletta Zampillo, six children, and one stepchild. Leonardo Maria is his father's only child with Zampillo and head strategy for Luxottica. Katharina Anderson net worth $1.5 billion. Along with her younger sister Alexandra, Katharina is a sixth-generation owner of Ferd, the more than $4 billion investment company their father, Johan, runs. Katharina is a sustainability officer at an Oslo-based construction firm. Wang's along net worth $1.4 billion. Wang's fortune comes from a stake in Shenzhen-listed traded company CNC Huayuan Titanium Dioxide, a chemical used to create white pigment for things like paint and paper. Alexandra Anderson net worth, $1.5 billion. Alexandra and her sister Katharina owns a 42% stake each in the investment firm Ferd. Instead of holding the reins at Ferd, she holds actual reins. Alexandra is a three-time junior Norwegian champion in dressage riding and helms a horse breeding and training facility. Luca Del Vecchio net worth, $3.5 billion one of two children between Leonardo Del Vecchio and Sabrina Grossi, a former Luxottica board member and the company's former head of investor relations. Luca is not known to have a role at the eyewear company. Kim Jong-min net worth, $1.7 billion. Along with her younger sister, 
Kim Jong-un, Jung-min inherited around a third of their family's assets, including a 15% stake each in gamemaker Nexon after their father Kim Jong-ju died in February 2022. Jung-ju founded Nexon, known for its massively multiplayer online games Kingdom of the Winds and MapleStory, in 1994. Forbes does not know her precise age. Kevin David Lehman net worth, $2.3 billion. He inherited 50% of the German drugstore chain Dem Drogery marked from his father at age 14. It remained under a trusteeship until his 18th birthday when he became a billionaire. Neither Lehman nor his father is operationally involved in the $14 billion revenue company. Kim jong Yao net worth, $1.7 billion. One of two teenage billionaires on this year's rankings, Kim jong Yu inherited a stake in her late father's holding company which in turn holds approximately half of online gaming giant Nexon. Both Kim's sisters keep a low profile and are not known to have an active role in the company. Forbes does not know her precise age.